Residents have been crying foul over the odor coming from a Brown County company for years. The company is Sanamax and it processes animal parts. Now some neighbors of the plant have filed a class action civil suit against Sanamax. Tonight Fox 11 investigates. Mark Leland uncovers new details in the case. Normally, a company like Sanamax would operate quietly, tucked away in an industrial park off the highway. The road in front of the animal rendering plant doesn't get a lot of regular traffic, but Sanamax does stand out. I don't see it, I smell it, mm -hmm. and so do my constituents. Brown County Supervisor Pat Evans is talking about the smell some say often permeates from the Sanamax plant in the village of Howard. He represents those living nearby in northwest Green Bay, oftentimes downwind of the plant. It's a problem he's been addressing for a dozen years. Is this the number one complaint you get from residents? Absolutely. Evans has logged countless complaints over the years, but official resident complaints have to be filed with the Brown County Health Department. And then only a small number of those complaints are actually verified by sanitarians who respond when they can to the scene. But the total complaints filed have increased over time. Three years ago, the health department logged 12 odor complaints against Sanamax. In 2012, the number grew to 51, and last year it climbed to 75 complaints. Rob Goldman is the health department's environmental health division supervisor. Why are we seeing a, a, a huge rise, an escalation there in the number of complaints? Uh, I can't tell you why. I, I, it would be pure conjecture. Yet, Sanamax officials say they have been making significant progress in reducing its odor profile, down 61% last year from the year before. Well, Sanamax is very proud of the efforts it's made over the last few years, having invested nearly $3 million in infrastructure improvements. Josh Cook is the attorney representing Sanamax. And uh, Sanamax is extremely proud to announce that, that it's gone 63 days now through the summer without having a single verified odor complaint. And one morning I walked out of the house to the car and I went, oh my God. Robert Hessen you know, is one who filed a complaint. He says the foul odor coming from Sanamax is a constant issue. Can you describe, I mean, the intensity of it? Wet dog food. Uh, there are some mornings that you can, uh, you know, it smells like sticking your head in a bag of dog food. Hessen lives about a quarter mile north of the Sanamax plant. Marie Berg lives a mile or so away. The smell. Oh. How bad is it? It's putrid. It smells like garbage. Residents complain they can't entertain outside or just sit on their front stoop, that the smell keeps them locked up inside. The residents have a right to have an unfettered enjoyment of their own property. David Steffen is on the Village of Howard Board and the Brown County Board. Two weeks ago, he and a few other county supervisors met privately with Sanamax officials and believes the company is working to address neighbor concerns. I think they are, are making efforts. The question is, one, are they the right ones? And two, are they enough? Some residents say no, and with the help of a Milwaukee law firm, have now filed a civil suit against Sanamax for allowing or failing to correct the odor problem. They want the case to go forward as a class action. If your private property rights are being affected by the actions of another, in, in this case, Santa Max, for this release of this order, you don't have to stand around and wait for government action to take place. You can be active yourself, and that's what we're doing. I met with attorney Keith Trower, who explained the suit. This sort of issue has been addressed in other similar operations. This is not impossible. This is very doable. We're asking that Santa Max match, you know, their efforts in production with their efforts in mitigation. Be a good neighbor. Sanamax says the company is a good neighbor, working to mitigate the odor issues. Here is what we uncovered about Sanamax's efforts to clear the air. In 2009, the company installed a pre-treatment system to triple treat medium intensity odors. In 2012, air scrubbers were added to the company's Animal Hides building. Odors from that building were previously not controlled. That year, the company's two major air scrubbers on their stacks were also updated. And in 2013, Sanamax invested in a regenerative thermal oxidizer. That is used to thermally treat the most intense odors. In terms of operating resources, in the past year, I've hired three chemical engineers to specifically look at how we handle and how we're treating odor. On top of that, we've brought in several industry-leading consultants to help us improve.
That was Santa Max General Manager Don Johnson answering questions before the Brown County Board back in March. At the time, the county board was considering a change to the county's odor ordinance to make it easier to issue citations against offenders. Santa Max was issued two citations in 2013. The total fine owed $2,155. Under the proposed ordinance change, Santa Max would have faced five citations. Santa Max officials promised more cooperation, and several board members representing communities not impacted by Santa Max stood up for the company. I have to sympathize with uh, Santa Max. They have problems at times. They, I, I believe them when they say they're making a good faith effort. This is not simply flick of a light bulb and things are, are fixed. We are on a process, we are on a journey to fix this. But that journey has been a little too slow for some residents. While over the past 30 years, Santa Max confirms production at the plant has increased dramatically. The company has gone from processing more than 70 million pounds of animal byproducts 30 years ago to more than 800 million pounds just last year. There is no doubt that the size of that operation has increased exponentially. And with that comes increased odors. And so we need to work with them. The state's Department of Natural Resources is responsible for monitoring air emissions from the plant. But odor is a nuisance, not a health hazard, and those odor complaints fall in the lap of the county health department. To respond immediately, it, it's impossible. Uh, we, we don't have the resources to basically have one person continually on standby just to respond to these complaints. And that leaves unhappy residents wondering who is sticking up for them. By the time I call the health department, which is my only resource, they get here maybe and they can smell it. Maybe they can't because it, it wafts in and out. Up to this point, do mm -hmm. you think Santa Max has been held responsible for what they're putting out? I don't think so. I, I, I think at, at this point, um, like I said before, we wouldn't be involved if there wasn't a problem. Santa Max uh, disputes the allegations and it understands that complaint and, um, and plans to put up a vigorous defense. Perhaps the case in court will help to clear the air. For Fox 11 Investigates, I'm Mark Leland. Santa Max also operates a plant in Dane County and that is where the civil suit was filed. But Santa Max also has a court date in Brown County next week. That has to do with its two nuisance odor violations issued last year.